Hey, what's going on guys? All right, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we learned how to create a sales receipt. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to customize it because the default sales receipt is just way too bland and I need something much more professional. Right now I'm in pre print preview. I'm not gonna print it. I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna get rid of this sales receipt that I was building. So from the top, how do we customize a sales receipt? From the home page. Let's go up here to the top right. Village Park Source, let's click on, you could either do it through company settings or custom form styles. Custom form styles is definitely a shortcut though. It takes you right here. Okay, so custom form styles, fresh, a new style. Uh, do I wanna edit one of these? How about we just create a new one from scratch, new style. Okay, on the left-hand side, we've got five templates. We've got airy, modern, fresh, friendly, and bold. I think I like, I like friendly. That's the one we have now. Absolutely not. I don't like this blocks of color. Modern's very clean, but I think I like the simplicity of Airy the best. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Airy, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name. I'll just call it Airy 1. You can change your logo right here. You can change your color. Your, your, your color. You can click around, or if you know your precise color that you want, if you know the hex pattern, you can go ahead and punch that in. This is just kind of like a Home Depot style orange, uh, but I don't want that. I want to go ahead and go back to my turquoise. And then form type, invoice, estimate, or sales receipt. This is a sales receipt. I mean, you could really, this tutorial could cover invoice, estimate, or sales receipt, but for the sake of the tutorial, we are customizing a sales receipt. I'm going to click next. We've got some more options on how we can customize this. We've got the font family, Helvetica, or Times New Rope, just Times. Uh, I don't really think that's a selling point. Somebody backing out of a sale, so I'm just going to keep the defaults. The page margins, well, I kind of liked it how it was. Printing, I'm not worried about that because I'm sending it. Um, show tables, that's fine. And let's go ahead and click Save. Okay, so we just saved it. Now let's look at our custom form styles. We have Airy 1 that shows up right there. Okay, now let's go back to sales receipt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to send a sales receipt to Big Dog Official. Um, create invoice. We're going to go ahead and create sales receipt. And let's go ahead and just populate some stuff because it won't let us move any further without um, a product or service being on the sales receipt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on customize and I'm going to click on Airy 1. And let's go ahead and save it. And let's Preview it. Perfect. I like how that looks. All right, guys. So good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. And good luck. Uh, good luck with this. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.